my channel so after a long time i am recording this video uh, actually uh, i was facing some issue to integrate paypal payment uh, option in react native so i go through all the steps and document then i am finally uh, able to integrate paypal payment integration in react native mobile app so uh, today i am going to show you how to integrate paypal payment option so first of all uh, you need a developer account for paypal uh, so for create developer account you have to just go through this um, website after sign up if you don't have developer account you have to sign up then after sign up you will get this type of dashboard okay so after uh, this dashboard uh, there will be a defaultly uh, created one of the default application so in that application i'm clicking on that application you will get the client id string and secret key so using this client id and secret key we are going to um, call one of the api which can provide a access token so using access token we are going to call another api so that api will provide us a url of payment for check out any items of our application so for that uh, we are going to use a web view we are not going to use any sdk for react native payment we are go through a web url so first of all for create access token we are going to open postman so in this postman there is one of the uh, url for sandbox so using sandbox we are uh, create a checkout url so we, uh, first of all we are uh, going to generate a access token so here is the url method is post and then in authorization you just select a basic auth in basic auth for username there will be a client id just copy this client id and paste it here then for password this is a secret key so just uh, click on show and you will get the uh, secret key that uh, copy the secret key and paste here i am not going to show you secret key because it's a secret so after that um, on body just uh, select the row option and then select the text option from drop down then just enter this string and then click on send after click on send you will get uh, this access token right so just uh, copy this access token and go here in your mobile application so i already uh, created uh, one of the button in our react native mobile app and already run the uh, application in ios simulator so here is the button complete purchase so in this button uh, i am go through this checkout page so in this checkout page uh, there is a code of paypal so what i'm going to uh, integrate here that uh, web view so using web view we are going to uh, do payment and then after successful payment we will go back to our screen so there is a two scenario either we uh, complete uh, payment or either there uh, is a failed or payment state so first of all we are going to test a failed payment state um, on click this on component did mount i just call one of the object that is i am going to transact this uh, usd in 0.01 dollar then after after this payload i am going to call this api and this is the token which we have copy from here we have just need to paste here in authorization then after just uh, type a body here then after we will get the response then in response we will get the access token using access token we are going to call another api that api is this one in this response of api we are getting approval url so in this approval url we have to set that approval url on our web view so our web view will open okay and after open this web view uh, we are navigating all the state if we are uh, jumping in another uh, web page then it will detect here 
and after successful payment we are redirecting to this for example this website okay so when they detect this base url in uh, any navigation of web page then there should be a uh, call another api that should be this one okay and after this if we are getting a valid source like uh, that payment has been successfully done then we will get that state in this response and then after that we are going to record that uh, payment uh, order that we have uh, successfully in um, do a payment and if there is any cancel or any failed payment state then we'll, we will get invalid resource id so let's check that i'm going to click on complete pur purchase okay so i'm getting this paypal payment so i'm going to a payment with this credit or debit card Uh, you have to enter here that your uh, actual debit and credit card there will be uh, debited this 0.01 USD what uh, we have written here on payload total okay so after you enter all the data just click on continue and you will going to redirect with this URL approval return URL okay and you will get the success but if you file the payment uh, anyhow any case in case you file the payment then just click on here you will get the notification that alert message the payment fell please try again so this is how i integrated this um, payment of paypal so if you need this code then just uh, write down in comment section i will uh, create one of the deck document for these steps and for this code uh, thank you for watching my video if you need any other rea subject related in react native related video then i will definitely post just comment on my video thank you for watching